Welcome back everyone. I try to tell you guys and for some reason you guys do not listen to me. But this is another public service announcement. Do not, and I repeat, do not install iOS 14 on your main device. Now obviously it's a free world, free country, do whatever you want to. I'm not going to force you to not do it. But there are so many problems with this update and updates to come that it's really not even worth updating right now. I would at, at the very least wait until the public beta comes out. If you can't even wait for then, then I would probably just recommend going at least to like beta 3 so Apple can go ahead and like, you know, clean up a lot of stuff. Now, I've made tutorials in the past of how to install betas on iOS and the main reason for those is for other developers and maybe other people who have a device that they're not necessarily using, then it's totally okay. This iPhone 10, for example, is a perfect case. This is one of my older phones that I used as a main phone, but now I don't use it anymore. My main phone is this iPhone 11 Pro and it's still on iOS 13. I have literally almost all my other devices on iOS 14, but I don't use those other devices, so it doesn't matter. iOS 14 on all my devices is pretty unstable for the most part. Buggy, it's crashing, the battery life isn't that great, and it's just not really worth updating in my opinion. Now, obviously, like I said, you can do whatever you want to. A lot of people have had, you know, pretty good experiences with it so far. It's been out for like two days, and they're saying, you know, they're having no problems, it's this, it's that. But even at that, I really would not recommend you guys to update. And I've noticed on my newer devices, like my iPhone 10, my 10R, my 10S, even I haven't installed my iPhone 11, but those type of devices, it runs perfectly fine. You know, I really haven't had too many issues. My iPhone 10 has been fine, my iPhone, even my iPhone 8. But once I go down to like the 6S and the 7s and the 7 Pluses, those are where the issues start arising. I've had a lot of issues on my 7s, a lot of issues on my 7 Pluses. And this iPhone 10 I did have some issues with in the beginning with of installing it in the first couple minutes, but now it's perfectly fine. I haven't had any issues. I've filmed a lot of videos on this thing too. But for a majority of you, I still would not recommend updating. It's just not worth it. There could be a problem. I mean, I remember with iOS 13 betas, there were huge problems there. iOS 11, iOS 12. And the thing is, is that however the beta starts off is not necessarily how it's going to end off. For example, with iOS 12, there were betas, you know, they were, it was a pretty good update for the whole entire beta experience. And then randomly, there were some updates that really messed up the experience. And Apple had to go and quickly, like, cancel those updates, if you guys remember that. With iOS 13, it was probably the same thing. And with iOS 14, it's going to happen again, so... I'm telling you guys, if you have not installed iOS 14, stay on iOS 13. It's just not worth updating yet. But like I said, if you have a side phone, if you have a device that you're not using or an iPad that you're not using or whatever, then by all means, go for it. If you're okay, this is the way I see it. If you're okay with losing all the data, all your information, all your photos, text, and everything from your phone, then go ahead and go for it. Or from that specific phone, then by all means, go. But if you have an 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max and you don't have like 20 iPhones, then it's just not worth updating. It's just it's just too much risk involved. So that pretty much covers it. That's my little public service announcement. I'm going to continue talking about it, and I'm probably going to drop another huge tutorial on how to install a lot of different softwares, but even at that point, I'm going to say the same thing. You should not install it unless you have a side device or you're a developer or you're comfortable with literally breaking your phone if you're okay with that. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. Send me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.